Hi, it's Claire Aiken with the Fiddly Fig Plant Resource Center, and today we're going to talk about fertilizing your plant. Now, it's so important to fertilize your plant because in the wild, they have all of kinds of things dropping and replenishing the soil. And so they're actually, because they have a lot of growth relative to other houseplants, and really large leaves that do a lot of photosynthesizing, they need a lot of nutrients. And so if you don't fertilize your plant, the first thing that you'll notice is lack of new growth. So your plant will maintain its current leaves, but it won't keep growing. The second thing that you'll notice if the situation is really bad is your plant will start to yellow. And so the leaves will fade out to a yellow color and the bottom leaves may turn completely yellow and actually drop off your plant. So we want to avoid that with proper fertilization because in a pot, every time you water, you're kind of flushing out some of the nutrients. And as your plant is growing, it's eating up nutrients. And so eventually your potting soil will be completely devoid of any nutrition for your plant. So if you're not actively fertilizing, your plant will get very hungry in a hurry. And so I created fiddly fig plant food specifically for fiddly figs. Now this is a ratio of three, one, two, and that is the nitrogen um, phosphate and potash ratio. And so that's how all fertilizers are built is with those ratios. And this is created specifically to provide all of the nutrition that a fiddle leaf fig needs. And so it's really the best um, solution for your plant. And I've tested it against six other top fertilizers and fiddle leaf figs really do love this. And it, it stimulates new growth in them all year round. And so the way that you use this, and you could use any fertilizer, I really prefer liquid fertilizers because they're easiest to use and there's a lower risk of burning your plant because you know exactly how much you're giving it. Whereas if you use granules or a fertilizer that sits in the soil, you never know how much is left. And so I created this to be the easiest thing to use for a fiddle leaf fig. What you do is you use one teaspoon per plant every single time you water every week year round. Now, if you only water your plant every two weeks, you would just use one teaspoon every two weeks. The one teaspoon amount is a very dilute amount that reduces the risk of ever burning your plant. And so you can be really confident that you're feeding it everything it needs without the risk of burning it. Whereas if you were to fertilize maybe once every couple months, you would run the risk of burning your plant. So we want to keep it very diluted, very consistent, and fertilize all year round. I have a plant that is producing new growth in late November, which is considered the winter, because I fertilize my plants all year round. Um, and so you just want to make sure that your uh, ratio is either a 3-1-2 or in a pinch, you could use a 10-10-10. Make sure you fertilize consistently and make sure that you never burn your plant because they are susceptible to leaf burn if you over fertilize. Another thing that I want to mention is when you first repot your fiddle leaf fig, don't fertilize for a month or two because most potting soil has fertilizer in it. And so you want to make sure that your plant uses that up before you add new fertilizer because you don't want to overdo it. And so those are all of my tips and tricks on fertilizing your plant. Check out the resources below. Check out Fiddly Fig Plants Food. Each bottle is a one-year supply. Um, and so it may be an easy way for you to make sure that your Fiddly Fig is getting everything that it needs to grow really strong. I hope that's helpful and thanks for watching.